welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 6, and 5. If you are interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more intentional, essentialist lifestyle, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below the video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you another Evan Moore workbook, and this is their Skill Sharpeners Critical Thinking for Grade 2. For those of you who've been following my channel for a long time, you know that we have been using Evan Moore since our very first year of homeschooling three years ago. This is our fourth year. I continue to be a big fan of Evan Moore workbooks, and I recently became an affiliate for them. What that means is that if you click on the links in the description box down below to view this workbook or any other Evan Moore workbook, and you purchase a workbook, I do receive a small commission. However, I am not an employee of Evan Moore, and all the opinions that I share with you are entirely my own. So, to get back to it, this is Skill Sharpener's Critical Thinking for Grade 2. I really like the Skill Sharpener series. Just to give you a quick flip through, they are very colorful and engaging workbooks. Now, Skill Sharpener's workbooks are among my favorite of the Evan Moore workbooks partly because they are so colorful and, and nice to look at, but also because they address several different learning modalities. So if you have a child who you've just found is not into workbooks, is not into doing like black and white lists and fill in the blanks, you really might want to check out their Skill Sharpener series because they have so many different activities and learning styles that are addressed in each workbook. Now, this particular one is about critical thinking, and it is organized into four different main sections. The first is animals, the second is body, the third is things, and the fourth is places. Like every other Evan Moore workbook, you do have a couple pages at the very beginning that highlight for you how to best go about this. Now, as we go through this workbook, you will see that there's reading sections, there's telling what you know, which is more of a traditional workbook style. There's critical thinking activities that often have different types of analytical and synthesizing type skills that are evaluated. And then here you have art projects and hands-on activities. My kids have loved the hands-on activities in the Skill Sharpener science books, and I expect that my daughter will like this as well. So here you have the section on animals, and you'll see all the animal pages, just like the table of contents, will be edged in this pretty sky blue color. If you look at the margin here, you can see how the colors change. The next section on body will be in this green section. The next section um, on things will be in purple. And the next section on places will be in orange. So as you go through it, you have a little checklist at the beginning. My daughter who loves planners will love this feature so that she can check off what she has done as she does it. There's a cute little activity here. How many different turtles can you count on the next five pages? Count them and write the number here. When you start it, you have this reading selection page, which is designed to be at the reading level of the student. You have some keywords here, just reptiles highlighted and some photographs here. The next page is a tell what you know page about what you just read. So you have writing two sentences about alligators. You have a fact versus opinion section. You have, can you think of four other animals with sharp teeth and draw an alligator with a bunny tail and bunny ears. So something cute, something um, entertaining, especially if you have a child who likes to draw. The next page is also a tell what you know about turtles, which was the other animal discussed in the reading section. Um, here you have which turtle is different. You have, can you think of other animals that have shells? I like this beginning into comparative physiology um, of other animals. Here you have, would you like to have a turtle for a pet? Why or why not? So a little opinion question on their own, a little writing exercise. Then you have a categorizing page. And basically you have a Venn diagram and they have to split out the statements into that Venn diagram. So it's a more analytical, synthesizing information type of skill. Here you have word problems, so a little bit of math here. And then you have snack time. So again, a little bit of math where you're solving based on a line graph. The next page has a convert page. I like how at the top it says what skills you're trying to achieve here or practice. So changing and constructing. So here the skill is, can you change this highlighted letter into a letter that would f make an animal that fits into the group pets? And obviously you could change cap into cat, which is a cute activity. Here you have a drawing page and you learn how to draw a turtle. Then there is a more of a producing type of page where the student themselves tries to create or teach by creating a problem. So they have to write an addition word problem based on this picture, a subtraction word problem, and a multiplication word problem. The next page is determining where you actually talk about 
what do alligators eat, write three words that describe alligators, a little bit of math here, and which alligator is different. There's a word search. There's new words that you can write from the letters in alligator. Let's talk turtle here. So it's another type of page that has some questions where they have to think about it. What animal is slower than a turtle? Is an ant slower than a turtle? Why or why not? Some fact and opinion. How could you help this overturned turtle without touching it with your hands? Um, and writing missing numbers. Then you have a design page where they could plan out the turtle shell design. And then a log hop page where you have to hop only on logs and must hop on exactly 16 logs. So you have to hop over these guys, but you have to hit no alligators and all exactly hit 16. Here you have a hands-on creation activity where you get to make a turtle puppet. And it gives you very clear instructions on how to do that as well as the templates that you would need. I like that the templates are right here so you don't have to run around finding the materials or anything. They provide it all for you. So that was your section on turtles and alligators. And then you have another section on bats and bugs. And there's your bat mobile that you can make as your activity at the end of this. You have a section now on body where you have eyes, teeth, and hair. And again, it follows very similar um, layouts with different types of comprehension questions and telling questions. Here you have, look at your eyes in a mirror, write each color that you see, how many eyes are in your house right now. So it's a way of practicing different math and language arts skills without actually being boring. And I think my daughter is going to love this book. I'm actually wondering about getting one for my son now as well, because I think this is really, really well done. This is a bird's eye view. So draw how each of these things would look if you were flying over them. It, it asks them to come up with a different perspective. Here you have a color by number page and then an activity where you make yourself on a paper plate. The next section is on hands and feet. Um, this is cute. It's hand shadows, so you can make hand puppets. And then there's more activities here. You have fingerprint pictures at the end for that one. And then you have things. So the first section on things is actually things that we use um, on a daily basis, like windows and doors, socks and shoes, etc. And then there's a variety of activities, including making a paper hat. And even though all you need is a blank piece of paper here, they do provide that for you. The second section in things is things that we like. And they have a lot of questions about favorites here. And then you make a things I like book. The next section on places starts off with oceans and forests. The activity is to create a little ocean scene. And the next section, I believe, is about the desert and then you make a, like a little three-dimensional art piece um, as a cactus at the end. The answer key is full page color spreads. I love answer keys like this because it makes it easy for older siblings to help grade younger siblings work. I think that's a really great learning activity and having them be your co-teachers is really, really helpful. As I said, all of the Skill Sharpeners books from Spell and Write, Reading, Math, Science, Critical Thinking, and Geography are all available from pre-K through six. So. Of all the different Skill Sharpeners books, I actually think I like the Critical Thinking one the best. So I'm really happy that I had an opportunity to review this one for you. If you are interested in looking into this workbook or any other Evan Moore workbook, my affiliate links will be in the description box down below. And so you can just click it and it'll take you to the Evan Moore website where you can see more pages in depth. There are also several areas on the Evan Moore website where you can print out example pages for yourself to see if it works for your kids or not before purchasing. As always, you guys, I really do appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some of it with me, and I wish you guys the very best day.